Hi, my name is Vivek and I'm from TPTag Bangalore. And many of you have tried installation of SX80 with the speaker track. And you might have faced some problem where uh, left camera would not be uh, would not be focusing on the correct person or right camera is not sending correct video feed. So in this video, we will cover how we can install SX80 with speaker track and also make sure the connection is fine using web interface or X status command. So, and we will also discuss the different type of cables which are, which are used and what are their purpose. This P60 camera would be acting as a left camera and this would be the right camera. Now we will talk about the ports on the speaker track. So this is the speaker track array and power port for the both camera, first to the right and second to the left camera. Now we have to provide power to speaker track for which we will use this port and connect to power socket. The camera control port for the camera from speaker track and this port will help to control speaker track from the codec. Now we have two default connection from speaker track to the mic array and now we will talk about the ports on the camera so this is the spare p60 camera i have so we have this rg45 for the camera control and we have this for power and sdmi feed from this camera now we will talk about the cabling so we have two pair of cables coming up from the left camera and for the, from the right camera. So first we will connect power. So right goes to the first DC port and second DC port will connect to the left camera. We will connect the control cable. So first we'll connect to the right camera and second network port will connect to the left camera. We will provide control to speaker track from codec we can use network 2 or 3 port of the codec and the third port of the speaker track now we will connect power from outlet to the speaker track which will power up the camera also as well as the speaker track now we will talk about the HDMI connection so first HDMI in of the codec will be connected to the right camera and second SDMI in will be connected to the left camera. If all connections are good, we will see the touch uh, panel output. And in the self view section, if connections are good to go, we have tracking enabled. We'll talk about uh, the status on the web interface. So if we go to the web interface and navigate to system status and look for speaker track, um, on the camera speaker track, we will see that it is available and uh, status is active. We also see the SDMI uh, connection, which also looks fine. We can also verify this via SSH connection. So I'm going to connect this codec with the SSH. And uh, we'll run some X status command to verify whether we have everything set up fine. So if we just type X status and look for speaker track we will see the activities uh, especially whatever we saw on the web interface so we see the active and the available and connections are fine we can also verify uh, the status of uh, the camera as well as speaker track in the peripheral so we'll navigate to peripherals and uh, look for the camera status so we have camera showing fine here and the version it shows the software version for both the cameras and we also see the speaker track array status so that means everything is good all connections are good to go